Welcome to another Saturday night discussion. We are continuing on the guacamole tour. Basically, I have done nacho tours, pizza tours, root beer tours, old-fashioned tours, Manhattan tours, what else? Egg roll tours, uh, every possible kind of sushi tours, which is I get on this track where I just do nothing but go to those specific type of restaurants or get that specific type of cuisine until I get basically sick of it. And then what happens, and then I evaluate all of the things that I've had and determine what is the best nachos that I've ever had, the best pizza that I've had on the tour. So right now, we are doing guacamole. So we're evaluating the Walmart guacamole, which is a smooth puree type of product, um, with the chunkier ones that you get in the restaurants. Mama Hemingway seems to like the smoother ones. I seem to like the more chunkier ones. I'm not sure if she is a fan of cilantro. I am. I can't get enough of cilantro or lime. Just two flavors that I absolutely love. Tonight we're going to a restaurant where they do table-side guacamole preparation. And we'll evaluate it. And we'll let you know what it's like. So join Mama and Papa Hemingway on the Saturday Night Discussion and the guacamole tour. Stay tuned. You know, because this is one of the things that the kids are out, out of control right now. Hey, hon. They are. Hey. Behold, this is the new Ram mount, which I can put anywhere in the car. And what I'm finding is that if I do a video with, with it on the door, when the door shakes, you can see the shaking oh, no. in the video. So. I'm finding that the most stable place to put it is on the windshield. So this is the far left, and it's really not blocking any view or anything like that. So we are continuing we are the... On our guacamole tour. I will hand, handle this yeah. <laughs> this evening. Go ahead. Tell us. Uh, introduce the well, guacamole I, tour. I can't really, because I don't know where we're going, so I can't say too much. I'm okay. correct about it. Well, we're going to go to a place that does table-side guacamole. Table-side. They hmm. make it for you Love. right at your table. To your specifications, so it's a very oh, your specs. Like no lemon, mm -hmm. no vinegar. No, no, they put lime in it. Lime no, no, goes in there. Yeah. Well, something that's biting, and I don't like the bite. There's lime in it. Um, cilantro. Um, what else? Probably onion and garlic, I would imagine. And I'm guessing you can say more of this or less of this, that kind of thing. So. Bring on the tequila. And we're going to do margaritas as well, right? Are you having a, um, like, a slushy, you know, one of them frozen margaritas no. or just like the regular ones? Yeah, regular. You know, I haven't had a frozen drink yet all year, so I think that's what I'm going to have tonight. It's really warm out, but... Yeah. Time. Next week will be hot. Yeah. Also, we have an invitation to go to uh, see a band tonight if we want, after, if we want. Friends of mine are playing just up 476, and uh, Craig uh, was the one who told me about it. The and Craigster. I, the Craigster. So, see we'll, we'll see how we feel if we want to go up there. But, um, Where's there, the place? It's called Rock and Rebel. Rock it's, and Rebel? it's a... Biker bar slash cowboy bar kind of oh, situation. Oh, wear me boots. Yeah, right. With me spurs. Yeah. So it's that kind of situation Denise, where they have friend. they have country country music there or rock and roll. Denise, your really good friend, has a license plate on her car that says Wicked and Spurs. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's the Why one. She's like. Over? She's you like. Know her. Screw men. We're having a girls' night out, and then all oh, of us. No, no, she <laughs> doesn't do that. No. 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 Okay. No. See, you've got something in your head. Yeah. And. Oh gosh, this place looks packed, doesn't it? I know, it? and the, the sun is like jamming right there, and I don't feel like sitting in the sun. No. Over there in the shade. Oh, well, it looks like there's a motorcycle right there. Oh, right there, back in. You're like Miss Back In, aren't you? 
you back into everything like wherever yes. you because you just like like you know how you like your back against things yeah that's how i am with my car yeah but that's the italian thing it's like we like our back against the wall you know well i like my car against the wall yeah i think i'm right. gonna get a tahoe huh i think i'm gonna get a tahoe you are yeah. really oh my god i still want to get it. i love tahoes <sighs> all right wicked in spurs <laughs> all right so we're gonna we're gonna come back and, and talk about how we liked this guacamole oh we're on tape yeah. Or tape. <laughs> yeah, we're being tape. we are being recorded right now. Tracy watches us. She can't wait to see our. Oh really? Oh, Hi Tracy. Again. Hey Trace. <laughs> hey Williams. What's up, Williams? She wanted to go out with us. She's welcome to come out with us anytime. I told her. She had a lot of fun. She loves her margaritas too. Do you have two chicks on your hands? So does she? Uh... Drunk from margaritas, right, Trace? Well, she lives kind of far from here. We won't say where she lives, but it's too far for her to come here tonight but we'll we'll have a well, special night anyway because her husband's working gotcha so we'll have uh we'll have her join us maybe on the next leg of the guacamole tour but stay tuned guacamole review coming up soon mm -hmm. yeah why not let him make it the way he thinks it should be done yeah how do you think it should be done how do you like it Oh, cilantro, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, got the lime. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? Didn't taste it yet. Okay, go ahead. Oh my god. Really? You think I'll like it? Okay. All right. It's so delicious. let's uh, let's see. Uh... Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> George, did you get a bowl for yourself? Uh, slide that bowl over here. Because this is all mine. Uh. Mm. Hmm. Uh, Aztec salad right here. Yeah. Ah, very good. Great. Thank you. That was nice and fast. Love it. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, we are live now. All right, guacamole impressions from Plaza Azteca. What are your thoughts? So good. Perfect. Spot on. The summer of guac for Chrissy. The summer of guac. Alright. What did you like about it? Well, I think I liked it because it was it was, a, it was a very good balance of every ingredient. You didn't taste one ingredient stronger than the next. Do you agree? Yeah. It, was it, very good it wasn't oniony. It and it had a nice, um, yeah, nothing really jumped out. It wasn't no. like all cilantro, no. all onions, all lime. No. It did have a nice balance. It was a good harmony. I think it was, I think it was actually a, a, a good idea that you had said to him, just yep. make it how you make it. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to see what a, a true block. you know, yeah. 
what like if he if he was gonna make it for himself at home, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. That's good. That was a winner. Salads were good too. The salad was very I think good. my chicken on my salad though could have been a little bit more maybe more uh, like moisture grill fired. Like oh. a taste, a flavor to it. It was a little bit okay. bland. Yeah. But it was it was okay, but I was yeah. surprised to, to taste that it was yeah. a little bit on the bland side. But you know, it was good. The and how about, was good. how about the margarita? The margarita was very good. The yellow cow, very good. Okay. Good size. Tasty. Yeah, I, um, my margarita was good. First frozen drink that I've had all year. And I like frozen drinks on super hot, yeah, I didn't think you were frozen. sunny days. Oh, I mean, like on a... Like if it's like a hot August night and you're on a deck somewhere, yeah. a frozen drink oh, yeah. is great. Yeah. So, yeah, the jets. that was good. So on a scale of one to ten, what would you give the guacamole at that place? A ten. A ten, yeah. So that's one to beat. So when we go somewhere else, it's going to have to beat that. Yeah, that's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I yeah. mean, I think that the place that's going to beat it maybe is Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Yeah, you need to go to Mexico so, to, to beat them, right? a plane. Yeah, right. At midnight tonight, actually. I didn't tell you this, but I got tickets. Is that right? To, okay. uh, Acapulco. To, uh, yes. Okay. I'm trying to think of the We're going to do some... I, 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 that's we're going to do some cliff diving? We're going to do some cliff diving. Okay. We're going to do some um, fishing. Good. So now we're heading up to, uh, my friends have a band. It's a rock and blues band. And they are worship leaders in a church who decided that they wanted to rock out and no longer, or I shouldn't say not no longer, because they still do their Sunday morning worship services in a Lutheran church. They repent on Sundays from Saturday night. Yeah, right, right. But they play in just some really hardcore places. Places that I go, just like these... Like, um, I, I hate to, I hate to say biker bars, but, but that's what they are, though. It, I mean, this place is it's country music, like a couple nights a week, and then just hardcore, hardcore classic rock and roll on the other nights. And they have like uh, like line dancing there one night a week or something like that. It, it's oh, not me tonight. You know, and like poker games and all this kind of stuff. No, there's no line dancing there's tonight. Boots are hat at home. Yeah. So tonight it's going to be like Led Zeppelin, ZZ Top, uh, Allman Brothers, uh, like that kind of stuff. And uh, maybe I'll introduce you to my friends in the band. And, and then we'll have, and I, I did let Craig know that we're, we're going up. So he didn't get back to me yet. But he only lives, I think, I only think he lives a couple miles from there. So for him it's just, you know. Throw a pair of pants on and a shirt and shoes to get there. Just, yeah, exactly. Craig, That's it. Come on. Comb Craig, his hair and get out. If you're watching, Craig. Craig, Craig is a buddy of mine from college. We've known each other uh, in college. And we met probably back in like 80, 1980, and just became good friends. The sense of humor is the same exact sense of humor. And, um, and then Craig moved to Florida for 26 years and then moved back to the Philly area where his family is. Uh, to be closer to his family as they've gotten older. And uh, when he came back, we did not skip a beat. Do you have any friends like that where you haven't seen each other for many years? And then all of a sudden, when you do see that you do see each other, you just kind of pick up where you so left that's off. That's true friendship. That's nice. That is true friendship. It is. Yeah. And uh, like you were out with me and Craig a few times yeah, last yeah, summer. He's a good guy. I mean, he's 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 a solid dude. Yeah, he he's is. A trustworthy fella. Mm -hmm. Very dry sense of humor. We have to find a woman for Craig. That's what we have to do. So that's that's the task. So we'll put Craig on video tonight. We'll put Craig. And then any women out there that might be interested, go to georgebruno.com. Can, can reach out yeah. and we'll uh, see if we can hook Craig up with somebody. Uh, wouldn't that be funny if like all these women like respond? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he was going to start a, a YouTube channel called The Cult of Craig. And he could because the sense of humor... And his logic is just, he is so good, so good. Like, we have friends where, <laughs> like, one of the things that we talked about was, like, Craig and I haven't seen each other since, like, I think there was snow on the ground. 
and we had a talk about this. He's like, George, we haven't talked in like months. He goes, are you mad at me? I'm like, no. Uh-huh. And he says, why do other friends say, where you been? Are you mad at me? You haven't called me. What's the matter? Did I do something wrong? And, and I said, yeah, I totally understand, you know, why, or I have the same thing happen to me. People say that to me, you know, a lot. Hold on a second. I'm changing lanes here. All right. And it's one of those things where uh, Craig somewhat hibernates in the winter. He's a sports guy. I'm not a sports guy. So he's like, he loves watching his football. But when we do see each other, we just kind of pick up where we left off. And I'm not insulted. It's not like, Craig, you haven't called me. Like, yeah, it's just... Girls act like that. Right, exactly. And actually, he was referring to some women that we know from college that were like, you haven't called me. What's the matter? You haven't commented on my Facebook stuff. Are you mad at me? Craig's like, uh, no. And he's like the most chill dude I've ever known in my life. (laughs) But, and he could... He could say something funny, but not crack a smile. Like, I find it very difficult to do that. He can say funny things and have a completely straight face. But I know when he's joking, but the other people around us don't know. And they'll take him very seriously. (laughs) The Craigster. Yeah. He won't show up tonight. And he he and I have this thing where we... If a (coughs) band does a song, because we're both boomers that go back, you know, to the late 60s. And... We'll hear a song, and I'll look at him and say, name the band and the year that it was released. So he'll, like, wait a second, think, and say, um, uh, like, what, what's that one? You know the song Vehicle, remember? Mm-hmm. I'm Your Vehicle, mm-hmm. Baby, remember? Mm-hmm. The, um... Ides of March? The Ides of March, and that came out in, like, 1970. He would be like, Ides of March, 1970. <laughs> And then the band will be doing another song. He'll be, and just like out of the blue, he'll be like, name of the band in the year. And like, I've got like less than 30 seconds to come up with the name of the band or the year because we're kind of like music trivia. I don't know if you would call us aficionados, but, but we have fun doing that. Do you have any friends that do stuff like that or? Everyone has like a. Does do you have a Craig in your life? Do you have a Craig in your life? Do you have a Craig in your life? No. Not that I know. No. Mm-hmm. To be continued at the Biker Bar.